concealed about the bewitching and the fear that they put on you guys. Right. In the bewitching, they instill fear in you. Because there's a video that he put where he asked his men to explain what is the hour of temptation. Y'all brother saw that? Okay. Where he was saying that the hour of temptation is when the microchip is being distributed. There's no scripture that says that in the entire Bible. When you look up the hour, anytime an hour is speaking in the scriptures of something to happen, what does it go into? Who knows? In one hour, it speaks about what? Destruction. Look up everything that speaks about an hour coming. We're in that hour when the destruction is going to happen. We're going to be in temptation, wondering if we're going to be taken or not, based on our righteousness when we were on this earth. But he got his men explaining one by one because he, he commands them all like zombies to do videos and his explanation for that hour of temptation that christ spoke about where he said that he'll watch over us is that, that you're going to be faced with the option of you got to take the chip i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem and double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone also as I see a shalom to you elect shalom to you other elders as well shalom to you brothers the Akim the elect I want to go in this video uh, I checked out off of the brother GMS Watchman which he made a response off of GMS upon precepts 2 uh, I think he said the brothers from North or South Carolina had his channels flagged but uh, I don't know if this is an older video, but uh, this is something that's still floating around, so it's still up. Now, in the wake, in the, in the light of that, you know, I've done a video on these guys IUIC, and it's not that I hate IUIC and I don't like IUIC, uh, but the scriptures does say hate the evil and love the good, Amos 5 and 15. So there's been a Jake that's been coming on the channel, and we've been going back and forth. You know, you got these Jakes that are pissed off. You know, because we do videos on these guys, and the first thing he can do is talk about Apostle Taha, and is because of Bishop Nathaniel that he was an apostle or whatever. Regardless of the fact, whatever the Most High sets you up to do, that's what you're going to do. And um, it's not hurting me that you're talking about my teacher. You know, it's not hurting me that you're talking about a great man, or you're talking about. Uh, you know which what we believe the Lord has set up I'm not mad at that because that's what's supposed to happen but what I will do you know because as people talk about me and you know you have the people with all the folly and going back and forth it's never about that it's all about the doctrine at the end of the day so anyway um, YouTube has censored a lot of things so I can't really say much in these kind of videos that I used to they're, they're still flagging other channels uh, that you know me and some other brothers have because of you know, old videos four or five years ago so I say that these guys that have the likes uh, could we should we say they may look like con men okay I can't say they're con men you know just because of the way things are but we'll get into that too I can't say that they're con men but Going to history and going through what's been going on in IUIC, you had to know when Bishop Kanai was stealing all that money from these women, and, and, and they supposed to uphold women and children, right? Sons and daughters, women and children. A lot of people got affected by that money. A lot of people got affected by this Israel United and Jesus the Christ, you know? Which I can't understand why they would still call on Christ if they would call themselves Hebrew Israelites. If my driver's license was lost and then all of a sudden it was found and I had uh, my picture with another name on it, I'm going to be pissed off. I'm going to go back to the Motor Vehicles Administration and say, hey, my name don't match up with this picture. Right? So they're trying to put the black Jesus with the with the white Jesus name but the picture matches up with the white Jesus face with the white Jesus the Christ image so they all matches together right so 
Anyway, I'm going to go into this lesson. Uh, I believe the uh, brother GMS Watchman, he broke it down. The other brother did too. Well, the other brother just put the clips in. Uh, but he broke it all down. But I want to hit another point. Uh, Revelation uh, 3 and 9. It says, Behold, I will... Well, that's not it. I think... Um, the hour of temptation. Okay. Because 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept thy the word of my patience... I would also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the world, right? The world. That's not even right there. To try uh, them that dwell upon the earth. So deacon, the deacon says that that hour is talking about just like the destruction. That when it's, the scripture says in one hour, uh, when it says hour, and I'll get to that in a minute, that's just a period of time. And we know that you have to be spiritual uh, to understand that. That it's, it's just a, a period of time. And in some cases, it is an hour. And this is why you have to understand the scriptures. Uh, because we know that it's, when the scriptures talk about a one hour of desolation, we know that can't take, uh, it's not going to take uh, two weeks to destroy Babylon. <laughs> it's not going to with the technology. And then you have to link the missiles. See, once you start taking the missiles out of the scripture and the way that it's going to be destroyed, then you have to change everything else up. Okay? Now that everything has to change. So, before I go further, he talked about the bewitching and we put the fear in people. When the scripture says the, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So, how do you fear the Lord? If you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to do what the Lord says. And these guys should know this because all they talk about is the law. So aren't they bewitching? Are they telling people, follow the laws, statutes, and commandments? If you follow the laws, right, they're saying the law is going to save you. Well, the commandment, following the first commandment will, right? But they're saying the law is going to save you. And that's not necessarily true. And clearly this is proof because they could, all these guys are going to follow the law. But when the chip comes, well, they claim they're going to follow the law. But when the chip comes, they accept that chip. They're throwing out the hour of temptation. You know? And that's the dangerous part of it. Okay, so... Uh, let me go to... That will keep you from the hour of temptation. So, that is... That is... Uh, G5610. Right? G5610. It says, a certain definite time of season fixed by natural law, returning with the revolving year. Okay, it says, of the season of the year, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Right? So that proven that this hour of temptation is a season. Okay? A particular time or season. Okay, the daytime bounded by the rising and the setting of the sun. These are definitions. 1, 1A, one 2, 2. 2A, two, 2, 3, 4. You get the point. That's why so many definitions because you got to apply it to the proper context. A 12 part of the day, an hour, right? So it can mean an actual hour or it can mean a season, right? And the first definition for this says a certain definite time or season fixed by natural law, right? Revolving with a revolving year, returning with a revolving year, okay? So, you get to the point. So, when it says the hour of temptation, that's not talking about one hour. Now, when we go to... Now, in the same definition, it is, it'll say, um, in one hour shall judgment shall come. Well, then you go to the other definitions on here because it's one, one A, one B, uh, one C, B, and you apply it. So, you'll see that definition there, and then you'll see the same definition uh, in one hour, you'll see it there. Remember, we, we go into the words and understanding homeographs or what they say, homophones, where words spell the same and have different meanings. Um, in the text of uh, Revelation, what we just went into, the hour of temptation, uh, that text would have been um, a season. And when you go to Revelation 18, right, that text... Uh, what is this? Revelation 13? Uh, yeah, Revelation 18. Revelation 13 would have been a season, right? 
was it 13? Revelation 3. I believe it was 3. 3 and 10. When it says the hour of temptation. That would have been for a season. Okay. When you go to Revelation 18. That goes to an actual hour. Right. Okay. So. Well, when you go to Revelation. Let me go to Revelation 2 and 10. This is going to be. This is what's going to bring it home. It says, Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you to a prison, that ye may be tried ten, you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. So does that mean actually ten days? You have to be spiritually understand these uh, scriptures. And it's not that he called us zombies. It's not that we're zombies. Some of this stuff we just go look up ourselves. All we have to do is they lay out the platform through the Spirit of the Lord, lay out the platform, and then we come and feed. You know? That's called feeding the sheep. Okay, that's how we get nourished. Just lay out the platform and we 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 get fed. Okay, so when it goes on down to cast some of you into prisons and you should have tribulation, suffering, and when the other one said patience. Yeah, okay, and it says, um, 10 days, right? Let's go to G2250. Let's see what days, 10 days actually means, right? Uh, the first definition is the day used by a natural day, right? So, you can say, okay, 10 days is 10 days of that. I will go down to the correct uh, interpretation or definition. It says, two of the civil day space of 24 hours thus including the night but here it goes it says right here eastern usage of the term differs from our western usage any part of the day is counted as a whole day so how do you mathematically match that out so that period of time is not like there's going to be a counter set up and you got uh, a thousand two thousand Israelites in the camp and they being, uh, they're having tribulation and it's like okay start the countdown from day one from day ten all the way to day one uh, the day one right that's not what that's saying it says the eastern uses of the term difference from our western usage any part of the day is counted as a whole day hence the expression three days and three nights which they're telling you that with you know when the uh, Christians say uh, 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 the uh, the song, you know, the Palm Sunday, and the three days and three nights. They don't even have that right. Okay, three days and three three nights does not mean literally three whole days, but at least one whole day, plus part of two other days. Right. It also says here. Um, this definition here is for um. Uh, 10 days right days it says of the last day of the present age the day Yahweh will return from the heaven to raise the dead so we don't know he said he don't even know and the day of the Lord is a thousand years so when you go back to the beginning and, and uh, uh, the thousand years you know is to a day of the Lord so there's sometimes it could be uh, uh, a thousand years Okay, it could be a day, right? So I'm, I'm basically just putting the, making the fact that in his def definition, the 10 days is not actually 10 calendar days, okay? Especially the Gregorian calendar or whatever. It's just talking about a period of time, okay? Like he said, like when he said, you know, I will basically, you'll be destroyed forever. And that doesn't mean actually for eternity okay so anyway i hope this lesson will edify and it was it's not about it's not about when it says 10 days or it says an hour you have to know be able to know when to apply when it's a season or if, if it's an actual hour okay or if it's days or a period of time okay um i believe that's why in daniel's i think the seventh chapter it says the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom forever forever even forever and ever so 
Uh, that's to the point. Okay, that's all I have on that. Shalom.